many tools of the trade when it comes to producing black soldier fly larvae, but sieves are one of the tools I use in every step of the process. I use sieves to remove uneaten food, separate frass from larva, and sometimes to classify larva at different stages of growth. I currently accomplish everything I just mentioned with just three mesh sizes, one millimeter, three millimeter, and five millimeter. Let's talk about it. The one millimeter mesh sieve is the one I use the least, but nothing else can perform its function. And that is separating young larvae, typically less than eight days old from their frass. The frass at this stage is like a fine powder, similar to finely ground espresso. It's probably not necessary to separate the frass from the larva at this stage, but any time you can remove frass from your bins provides a healthier environment for your larva. I'm also experimenting with using the extra fine frass as part of my seedling starter mixes, but we'll dig more into using frass as a soil amendment in a future video. The three millimeter mesh sieve is my workhorse. It is the mesh I use to actively separate frass from adult larva, which includes any larva over about 10 days old. This tool, however, needs to be constantly shaken because small adult larvae can make their way through the three millimeter mesh if you let it sit for more than even a few seconds. An adult larva can get stuck in the sieve, making it an absolute pain to remove every larva by hand. That brings us to the largest mesh size I use frequently, and that is the five millimeter mesh. This is a great tool for separating adult larvae from uneaten food waste. The adult larvae climb down through the mesh, leaving behind any uneaten food. When preparing to harvest adult larvae, I will often start with a five millimeter mesh to remove uneaten food scraps, and then grab the three millimeter sieve to separate the larvae from the frass. This gives me a two-stage sieving process that makes larva production much, much easier. So why is all this sieving important? Well, when frass and uneaten food pile up, ammonia and other byproducts can make an unhealthy environment for your larva. The more often I refresh a larva bin by removing the frass and adding fresh food waste, the more larva I can keep in that bin. In other words, frequent sieving allows me to produce more larva in less space. Sieving isn't absolutely necessary for larva production. In fact, there are a lot of other great options out there that use larger bins where the larva harvest themselves automatically at the pre-pupa stage. And these methods are great, usually less labor intensive because they're more along the lines of set it and forget it. But so far, I've really enjoyed producing larva in plastic bins that can be stacked vertically and placed on shelving. It allows me to conserve space, it allows me to harvest larvae at every stage of their life cycle, and when moisture levels are under control, it produces a fluffy frass without a strong odor that is really nice to handle once the frass has been separated from the larva. I hope some of this information helps you decide what type of process best fits your needs. For now, I'll say thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.